through to verse 9. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Numbers 21. Bear in mind 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 4. John chapter 3, verse 14, 15. And it reads us. Numbers chapter 21, verse 4. And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to come past the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against God and against Moses. Wherefore have he brought us up out of the land of Egypt to die in the wilderness? And there is no bread, neither is there any water. And our soul loatheth this light bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. And they bite the people. And much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. For we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpent from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. Set it up on a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he look up on it, shall live. Nine and last. And Moses made a serpent of brass, put it up on a pole, and it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to pause this morning to give thanks and to give praise unto Almighty God. Indeed, he is the head of our life. And as I always say that, we are living here today. It is not because of our strength. It is not because of our mind. It is the love of the Lord. And I acknowledge the presence of the Lord this morning. I give him thanks and I give him praise. Because knowing that without God, we are absolutely nothing. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. I want to give God thanks and give God praise for our spiritual leader, our bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. And his wife, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. Somebody bless God for them, please. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I also want to acknowledge our senior assistant minister, Isilda Notman. God bless her soul. Hallelujah. I want to welcome each and every one. If you are on YouTube, if you are on Instagram, if you are on Facebook, if you are on the Flow Network, if you are on the DigiPlay, we want to welcome you, wherever you are this morning. And I pray that God, hallelujah, will touch your heart and, and touch your life with a word. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. As I stand here um, this morning, it takes me back. I remember when I just started um, in ministry. I used to work in St. Elizabeth in the leadership of the youth ministry. And um, when we used to um, at youth service, most of the time it was me and my friends, just like about six, seven of us or most of the times. Our pastor used to live on the church premises at that time. And when we gather for youth service and I ready to preach to my friends, they would have to come down from upstairs and look, what is going on down here? Because the type of preaching that they hear, they would think that I have a large congregation preaching to. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. And when I'm looking here today, I say that a lot of things that I practice as a young preacher. Well, it is a time for it now. Hallelujah. I used to have a little um, a tape recorder where I used to preach 
and tape myself and listen back to it. That's how I used to practice uh, my preaching ministry. But I give God thanks and praise that I am here today. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah to preach. Thus saith the Lord. Oh, glory to God. I remember in Samuel, in Samuel while Jonathan, while Dave, Jonathan and his armor bearer was going up to fight against the Philistine. It was just two of them. And, and one said to the other, how can two of us go up and to defeat this Philistine? And the other answer, reply and say, the God that delivered by many, it is the same God that can deliver by few. Oh, Glory to God. Is there anything too hard for our God to do? Can I remind somebody, oh, glory to God, that one of us still chase a thousand. But two of us put 10,000 to flight. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him in your house. Praise him in the church. Praise him wherever you are. Jesus. The time that you are living in calls for answers. And persons are looking just about everywhere to get answer. Persons are looking just about everywhere to get a little comfort. Persons are busy all over the world searching for solution. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Persons are busy wondering what is going to, to happen next. When is this thing going to be over? When I'm going to get back to my normal life. Oh, glory to God. And sometimes when we are desperate for answers. Our desperation will drive us to look to the wrong source. Oh, glory to God. Our desperation will drive us to look to the wrong person. Oh, glory to God. Our desperation will drive us to look into the wrong places. But YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Oh, glory to God. Members of this congregation. Oh, hallelujah, I'm here to bring you a word from the Lord. And the word is, turn your eyes on God. Searching for answers, searching for solution, but turn your eyes on God. Turn your eyes on God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. It is God time. It is time to look to God. Somebody may say, preacher, I've been praying for so long and nothing is happening. I'm here to tell you, pray some more. Oh, glory to God. Fix your focus on God. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. I've been looking to God. From my eyes were at my knees. It is time for a different source. I stopped by to tell you. Turn your eyes. On God. Oh, glory to God. Keep looking unto God. Because one of these days. You can rest assured that one of these days. Here we have a text before us. The children of Israel have found themselves once again. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody praise God in a very familiar spot. From they started this journey 
Oh, hallelujah. Out of Egypt to journey into the promised land. Oh, somebody praise God. Each time they come up on little roadblock, on little setbacks, the murmuring start. Oh, glory to God. Because you have some of us want to have a smooth seal each day and every day and nothing. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. But nobody told me that the road will be easy. Troubles are here sometimes. Troubles are here sometimes. Troubles are here sometimes. Freedom we all hold dear. No is that stick. Only your heart to God. One day. One day. Things must get better. Tell the devil to huff and puff. He can't blow us down. Because one day. One day. One day. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Because one day. One day. So Israel found themselves in a familiar spot. The complaining start again. The murmuring start again. Them start to blame God, curse God and Moses. Oh, glory to God. How oh, many persons we have cursing governments these days? Hallelujah. Cursing politicians, cursing church. Oh, hallelujah. Because things must be smooth for them every day. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. But I can understand the disappointment for some people. Because they put so, so much trust and confidence. Lord God of mercy. In mortal man. We put so much confidence. In mortal man. Oh, when they feel we get disappointed. Oh glory to God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. We just unconfident. Our party so much. When our party feel. Oh glory to God. When our MP feel. Oh hallelujah. Turn your eyes. Turn your eyes on God. So Israel start to complain. They murmur. They curse God. They curse Moses. They go as far as say that it was better if we remain in Egypt. Eating garlic and cucumber. Lord God. Eating leeks. Oh glory to God. Than to find ourselves in this place. And God said, I won't have it. I won't have it. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. So God said to Moses, in, in Numbers chapter 21, God said to Moses, and the Lord said to Moses, I'm going to send a fiery serpent. Oh, glory to God. This be, I'm going to punish these people. I'm going to send a fiery serpent. But when God sent the fiery serpent, it bite them. A lot of them were killed. Died in the wilderness. The destination was the promised land. Wandered in the wilderness over 40 years. And died there. A lot of us in this present pandemic, we murmur and complain more how we pray. Somebody praise God, no man. We murmur and complain more than how we pray and curse Babylon system and curse government and curse all kind of people, but still not turning to God. Somebody praise Him. 
Somebody praise him. Oh, glory to God. When the serpent came upon the children of Israel, they ran back to Moses. They said, Moses! We have sinned! We need a way out, brother Moses. We need a way out. Moses said the way out is not back in Egypt. Oh, somebody praise God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. I said the way out is not in royal leaders. Can somebody praise God? I said the way out is in Jesus. It's in Jesus. All in Jesus. The fullness of the Godhead. It's all in him. Thank you, said the mighty God is Jesus. The Prince of Peace is He. The everlasting Father. The King eternally. The wisdom and perfection. Helpless. Sinner friend. He's the author of redemption. When Jesus come again, it's all. It's all. so you must turn to God because he is the only way out so they sent brother Moses and Moses went to God and said God they have a repentive heart they acknowledge that they have sinned oh somebody bless the name of Jesus and God said I'm going to make a way out brother Moses go make a fiery serpent when you made that serpent, Brother Moses, place it up on a pool. Can I preach in the church of God? When you place it on the pool, whosoever is bitten by the serpent, when they look up on the pool, they shall live. The pool is still standing. Lord God, the pool is still standing. But it's not a serpent on the pool. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. When Jesus went down and was preaching to Nicodemus in John chapter 3, I hear God say to Jesus, say to Nicodemus, as Moses lifted up the serpent. Just like how you look up to the pool in the wilderness, you have to look up to God. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God, no man. Somebody praise God, no man. Somebody praise God. As Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Believe it or not, that whosoever, that whosoever, look up to him, whosoever, turn their eyes on him, shall not perish. But have everlasting life. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Let me take it down a little to, to 2 Kings chapter 18. Now, if you notice in the book of Numbers, when Moses had made the fiery serpent, place the serpent on a pole, it was nameless. No name was given to the serpent in the book. Of numbers but when Hezekiah became king and was reigning we realized that the serpent take on a name the name of the serpent recall Neushton 
Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Now, the reason why I draw for this text, I want somebody in my audience to understand that nothing can take the place of God. Nothing can take the place of God. And before I get into this, I want a person to understand that I have no problem with vaccine. I'm, I'm taking vaccine from before I have knowledge of what a vaccine is. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Nothing is wrong with taking medications. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. But you cannot put a vaccine over God. This Paul with the brazen serpent was placed there for a purpose. And it was rocking its purpose. Who's to ever be bitten by the fiery serpent? When you look to this pool, you live. Disease, your sickness, dry it up. But guess what? Somebody somewhere have the idea in their head and start to worship this thing. Come on, somebody bless the name of Jesus, the man. Somebody praise God. Somebody started to put this nation over God. But no foreign God can take his place. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. And Hezekiah said, no, this thing must come down. This thing must come down. And in my life, in your life, and in your life, and your life, a lot of us viewing right now know that there are some things that we are placing priority onto more than how we are placing priority on God. It's an Yushtan, and it must come down. The idol must come down. If God going to work in your life, if God is going to rock in your life, the idol it must come down. Get this. They have a dispute in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And Paul have to address the Corinthians brethren. And Paul said, wait, I, Paul, plant. Apollos water, what's the big deal? But God gives increase. Hallelujah. Hear me, man. Hear me, church of God. Give Paul his credit. Yes. Because it is Paul plant. So you have to give Paul credit for planting. Give Apollos his credit. Because Apollos water. But you have to give God the praise. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God, no man. You have to give God the praise. Give the doctor their credit. Because they work. Give the scientists their credit. Because <laughs> they research. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God, no man. Somebody praise God. Give the doctors their credit. Give the scientists their credit. Their work. Their research. But what about God? Oh, we can boast for with doctor sometime. Oh, somebody praise God, no man. Somebody praise God. And my doctor is the best doctor. Oh, glory to God. How will your doctor get health to go to work? I'm not saying enough to give your doctor your credit. But who wakes your doctor? So that your doctor can come to work. Somebody praise God, no man. Where your doctor get the knowledge from? Oh, somebody praise God. You think I have problem with vaccine? May I give thanks to the vaccine? But some person I behave. And I rejoice because vaccine is here now. They want to go back to normal life. Somebody, wait. 
the, the, the natural resources, resources that they use to make the vaccine. Where it come from? Where it come from? The earth is still the Lord's. The fullness of the earth. The run! Don't get too caught up that we forget that there is a father up above. Turn your eyes unto God. Turn your eyes unto God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. So the serpent was seen in numbers as God himself. When they looked to the serpent in the book of Numbers, they were looking to Almighty God and they received the healing. In the book of Kings, they were looking to the ser- to, to Neustan as a God, replacing him for God, not him, but replacing it for God. Don't put anyone in God's place, Hallelujah. don't put anything above God. Turn your eyes unto God. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Well done, Paul. Well done, Apollos. Well done, doctors. Well done, scientists. But somebody, praise God for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him. For his love and kindness. Praise him. Look beyond Paul. Look beyond Apollos. Look on the one who give it. The increase. Turn your eyes. Upon God. Oh glory to God. He who have the answer. To all earth's problem. Somebody say, why should I turn my eyes on God? The song say, he's the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness. Oh, glory to God. Turn your eyes unto God. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody praise God. A lot of Christians are getting fed up in this time in which we are living in. And refuse to turn their eyes on God. A lot of persons getting long eye, Minister Brian. And I look at what other people have. And I say, if them people are not serve God. <laughs> Psalm 73. A psalm written by the sons of Asaph. Christian people. And the man said, when he realized, when he stand up and look. And he saw the prosperity of the wicked. The man said me almost backslide. <laughs> My feet almost slip when I see the prosperity of the wicked. Looking on the wicked's prosperity but not looking unto God. But can we flip Psalm 73 this morning and turn it into 37? Fret not thyself. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Be not envious. Father, rock us. Oh, glory to God of iniquity. Some of us would far gone long time. Oh, glory to God. But we are looking at others' prosperity. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. It is time to turn. Turn, turn. Turn your eyes. Turn your eyes on God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody bless God. I was reading a, a, a paragraph in. Tony Williams' book, Courage to Conquer. And in the paragraph of this book, he told a story. The story was, there was this man, neighbors, both have their gardens. 
grass growing pretty over one man's house. And one man over the other side start to wonder, why is this man's grass growing so green? And in my water for him grass, I don't think that happened. But the moral of the story is that the man's septic tank was leaking. <laughs> Lord God have mercy. Somebody praise God, no man. And because the septic tank was leaking, it keep that area green. It is, you know, to know why some people are that area green, you know, man. Oh, glory to God. Don't look on their green areas, but look unto God. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. Turn your eyes unto God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I want the church to understand before we close this sermon, the service today, that you have the power. Hezekiah in Kings destroyed Nehushtan. That was getting God's credit. But whatsoever in your life, whatsoever in your life, you have the power to destroy your own Nehushtan today. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. I will keep looking unto God in spite of. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless God, the man. If I don't get no vaccine, me I look to God. Oh, glory to God. If I don't get no healing, I'm looking to God. If I don't receive a miracle, I'm looking to God. If I lose my job, I'm looking to God. Oh, somebody bless God. If I lose my house, look into God. Lose my car, I'm looking. The king in the book of Daniel. A decree was made in Daniel. And the decree was that once to have You hear the sound of the flute. The sackbut. The harp. And the psaltery. When you hear this sound. Every man must bow down. To worship the image that God. That, that the God of Babylon has made. Whosoever refuse will be thrown into the fiery furnace. There were some young men down there. Oh, glory to God who decide that. Irrespective of what happened, I'm looking to God. Oh, glory to God. Irrespective. Because somebody thinking, you know, just do a little bow knee and go on about your business, no man, you know, work that way. Oh, glory to God. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Hello. The moment we choose to sin could very well be the time of the rapture. And you will be left behind. You might look on the story in Daniel and say, wait. The man may just bow down let me that now take five minutes. And you're gone about your business. But somebody down there decide that irrespective of what you want to do, I am turning my eyes unto God. And they said that, wait, you don't see the furnace. You don't see the furnace. Why you don't just give up and bow down to, the, to, 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 to our image. And the man said, no! I'm turning my eyes unto God. And even if God don't deliver me. Somebody praise God, no man. Somebody praise God. Even if the God that I serve don't deliver me, I am still going to stand up for him. Oh, glory to God. Me now bow to no Satan. No matter what the circumstances, Lord God have mercy. No matter what the circumstances, we now bow. Oh, glory to God. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Tell the devil to heat. Tell the devil to heat. That furnace seven times hotter. We're not bowing down. Somebody bless God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody praise him. Praise him. Heat the furnace. Seven times hotter. We're not bowing down. 
I will continue to lift up mine eyes. Somebody praise God, no man. I will continue to lift up mine eyes. Unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. Which Lord? The Lord that maketh heaven and earth. You know why I'm turning my eyes upon God. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. The Lord that keepeth Israel will not slumber. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the Lord. Behold, he that keepeth Israel will not slumber nor sleep. The sun shall not smite thee by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord. Somebody said, The Lord. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve. We're not about to know Satan. God, the Lord that keepeth Israel. Him no slumber. Him no sleep. The Lord that keepeth Israel. Keep it thee. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless God. I'm closing right now. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in this time forth. It is time to turn to God. You know how much person bitten, bitten by a lot of things. Still no one turned to God. I do most of my ministry since 2008, since I'm doing preaching ministry, is outdoor ministries. When you go to outdoor ministries, sometimes I tell you, I shake my head. When you look at some person, can hardly walk. They must say, sir, I'm not ready. 50 year old, you don't, you, you don't ready. Person confined to wheelchair and still no one turned to God. Bitten by strokes. Still no one turned to God. Bitten by lupus. Oh, glory to God. Bitten by diabetes. Jesus of mercy. Bitten by abuse. Still no one turned to God. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless God, no man. Being abused. Still no one turned to God. Being neglected. Can you imagine? As I look at you growing up at all, that me, he all if me ever sick and catch HIV, the quickest thing for me to do is go to church. <laughs> Person are beaten by HIV. And still no one turned to God. Person living in, that person sick in, in the hospital bed. Doctor say I can't help you. And I'm still no one turned to God. Living in a pandemic. Oh God Almighty, what do you want God to do? Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. One more. What do you want? What sign are you waiting for? What more sign do you want? What more evidence do you want? Oh, hallelujah. It is time to turn to God. It is God time. God time. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Some things will never change in your life until you turn to God. Hallelujah. The vaccine may take care of this present pandemic. May take care. But what next? What next? Let me tell you something. When person question what cause or who sent all this kind of sickness. If you examine closely Jesus' ministry. 
When Jesus pray for somebody and they receive healing, notice what he said to them. Go thy way. Sin no more. It is sin that creates sickness. If there was no sin, there would be no sickness. Go thy way and sin no more until this nation turns from sin. We, we will play with something if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and sing my face and turn. Turn from your wicked ways. No matter what your doctor do until you turn. No matter what your scientists do until you turn. No matter what your government do until we turn. Because we just want to get better to go back to living sin in this life. But if in this life only we have hope in Christ. We stop right here. If in this life only we have hope in Christ would have been of all men most miserable. My viewers, it is God's time. Turn to God. Turn to God. You may be saying, sir, I've been praying for this thing for 20 years. Hallelujah. You might never know in your 21st year what might happen. Keep holding on. Keep trusting God. He will always come through for you. My friend, if God can't do it, oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody praise God. Just stand and lift your hands everywhere. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, say a prayer in this atmosphere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ can break every fetters. Christ can break every fetters. Christ can break every fetters. And he says, You. My Jesus can break every fetters. Christ can break every fetters. Christ can break every fetters. And we'll say. Father, I give you thanks for today, Almighty God. I give you praise. I bless you, Almighty God. I honor you and I adore you. You are worthy to be praised, worthy to be magnified, worthy to be lifted up, worthy to be honored and adore, Almighty God. I bless you. I glorify you. Oh God, there's somebody somewhere, Almighty God, in need of a touch from you, Almighty God. There's somebody crying out, Divine God. Hallelujah. Look in to you divine God with the author and the finisher of their faith almighty God I pray that today you will come through for somebody who is looking unto you divine God oh glory to God no good thing will you withhold divine God